In today's video, we will be discussing the question 7 of the section B of the IBMS AA uh, paper 2 time zone 1 SL exam for November session. So in this question, you can see if you look at this question briefly, it involves the differentiation and it involves the three-digit geometry. That means this question is actually derived from the topic 3 and the topic 5. Topic 3 is 3D geometry, right? And topic 5 involves everything about the derivatives. So, the, the solid here shown in the following diagram is comprised of a cylinder and two hemispheres. The cylinder has height of h and radius x. The hemisphere fits exactly onto either one of the cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is 41 cm cube. So question A, uh, we need to show that the total surface area of the solid is given by the equation S equals 82 over X plus 4 pi X squared. So let's do this question in a new page. So we know that the total surface area of the solid S is same as 82 over X plus 4 pi x squared, okay? And we do know that this solid involves uh, the uh, two hemisphere and then the cylinder, right? So to calculate the surface area of the hemisphere, since there are two of them, we can just calculate the surface area of the, sur uh, the sphere, right? Then this is same as uh, 4 pi r squared. And then to calculate the surface area of the cylinder, since we just have to calculate the side part of the cylinder, right? The surface area of this cylinder is same as 2 pi r h. Okay, and we do know that radius is equal to x, so we can replace all the r's with x right so it's 4 pi x squared for the surface area of the sphere and 2 pi x h for the surface area of the cylinder then to calculate the total surface we have to add 4 pi x squared plus 2 pi x h however you can see that the equation that we need to show has no h value right so it means we need to get rid of this h okay then another information that is given in this question is the uh, volume of the cylinder, which is 41, okay? So using the uh, volume of the cylinder and its formula, which is same as uh, pi r squared times h, you can set this equal to 41, you can get rid of the h, right? So we know that r is actually same as x. So this is same as pi x squared times h equals 41. Then h is same as 41 over pi over pi x squared. Then now we can substitute this into the h of this first equation. Then we get 4 pi x squared plus 2 pi h or 2 pi x times 41 over pi x squared then this simplifies into the pi gets simplified x gets simplified so we have uh, 2 times 41 over x then this is same as 4 pi x squared plus 82 over x and this is equal to total surface area s so we have shown that the total surface area is same as 4 pi x squared plus 82 over x then let's try the next question so here we now have the total surface area and this has a local maximum or local minimum when x value is equal to a so question B, I, we need to find the expression for ds over dx. Then question B, I, we need to find the ds over dx. 
Okay, so since we know that the total surface equation S equals to eighty uh, two x plus four pi x squared. Okay, uh, when you look at this equation here, one of the term has a fraction form. Okay, when you differentiate the an equation like this, where it has separate terms and you just have to differentiate each terms, you don't want the fraction in your terms, okay, as part of your terms. So you always like to change this into non-fraction form. So you do uh, s equals to 82 times x to the power of negative 1 plus 4 pi x squared. Okay, then we can now differentiate this equation much easier way. So ds over dx is same as 82 times minus 1 times x to the power of negative 1, negative 1, plus 4 times pi times 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1. And this simplifies into negative 82 times x to the power of negative 2 plus 8 pi times x, okay? And this is same as uh, negative 82 over x to the power of 2 plus 80 pi x. So we have done with the bi. Then bii, hence we need to find the exact value of the a, okay? So from the question, we know that x value is equal to a, so it means we can replace all the x values with the a values. Okay, so ds over dx is same as negative 82 over a squared plus 8 pi a, and is equal to 0. Then let's try to isolate the a. Okay, so we get 82 over a squared here, this side. Then we can multiply a squared on the both side, then we get uh, 8 pi a cubed equals to 82. Okay, then this is same as a cube equals to uh, 82 over 8 pi, uh, which is same as a is same as cube root 82 over 8 pi or you can say 82 over 8 pi uh, to the power of 1 over 3. Let's do question C, I. So we need to find an expression for the second derivative. This notation, d uh, square s over dx squared means we have to do the second derivative. So when you go to question C, I, let's do this question on a new uh, page. We already know that from the question B, the ds over dx is same as negative 82 over x squared plus 8 pi x, okay? So we just have to differentiate this again. So uh, I'm going to change the fraction form to non-fraction form again, like this. And then we're going to differentiate this equation. So uh, second derivative of this equation, or function ds, function s is same as negative 82 times minus 2 times x to uh, negative 2 minus 1 plus uh, 8 pi. Then we get uh, plus 164 times x to the power of negative 3 plus 8 pi. So we have found our second derivative of the function s. Then question uh, I, I, use the second derivative of S to justify whether this function is minimum when A, X value is equal to A, right? So from the question uh, B, we know that A value is equal to 82 over 8 pi to the power of 1 over 3, okay? Then since this is a uh, GDC question, we first going to simplify our a value. So let's do 82 divided by 8 pi uh, to the power of 1 over 3. Then you will get a value equals to 1.4831713608. 
Then we're going to substitute this value into our second derivative. d squared s over d uh, x squared. Okay, so we do know that x is same as a. So 164 times a to the power of 83 plus 8 pi, uh, which is same as 164, 1.4831 to the power of 83 plus 8 pi. Then we will get seventy five point three nine eight two two. Okay, so it means the second derivative of the function s is greater than zero. So when we have a uh, second derivative value greater than zero, we always have the uh, minimum, right? When x is equal to a, okay? So it's at minimum. Then question i, i, i. We need to find the minimum surface area of the solid. So what we need to do is since we know that the surface area of this solid is same as uh, 82 over x plus 4 pi x squared from the previous question, okay? And since we also know that x is equal to a, and we do know that a value is same as 1.483171, we can simply substitute this a value into the equation. like this. So we do 82 divided by uh, 1.48317 plus 4 pi times 1.483171 square. Then we get 82 point uh, 93044, the surface area is approximately 82.9.